welcome to the second year students my name is ashok purane today let us study the remaining syllabus of indifference yesterday we have studied the, the marginal rate of substitutions and and say from indifference terms today we shall discuss about the the features of indifference terms the features of indifference terms are properties of indifference terms properties of indifference terms first of all we have to understand the what is indifference term how the indifference term slopes and what are its features or what are the properties of indifference term first of all we have to understand the meaning of indifference term the indifference term is a locus point of combinations of two commodity or two goods give the same level of satisfaction it is combinations of two goods give the same level of satisfaction or same level of utility it is called indifference curves it is in general but in according to a definition an indifference curve is Curve that represents all those combinations of two goods which give equal satisfaction to the consumer is called the indifference curve. It is called the indifference curve. It is the meaning of indifference curve. Now the features of indifference curve. There are. Uh, mainly three important features of indifference curves. The first indifference curve is the indifference curves slopes downwards from left to right. First indifference curve is the indifference curves slopes downwards from left to right. It is the first. Features or properties of indifference curve. The second indifference curve, the higher indifference curve gives the higher level of satisfaction. Or the higher indifference curve gives greater level of utility. This is the second features of indifference curve. In the third features of indifference curve is. The two indifference curves never intersect each other. The two indifference curves never intersect each other. These are the <coughs> most important features of indifference curves. We have these syllabus. Only there are number of properties, but in syllabus we have two. So the three features of indifference curve. First one is indifference curve slopes downwards from left to right. Second, the higher indifference curve gives greater utility or uh, more satisfaction. Uh, higher uh, the indifference curve gives a higher level of satisfaction. Number three, the two indifference curves gives the same level of two indifference uh, indifference curves uh, never intersect each other. These are the three important. Features of indifference curves or properties of indifference curves. First, we are to study the indifference curve slopes downwards from left to right. The indifference curve slopes slopes downwards. The indifference curves the indifference curves slopes downwards from from left right from left to right. From left to right, the indifference curve has negative slopes. This is the negative slopes. The indifference curve has negative slopes. The indifference 
means what has negative slopes. It slopes downwards from left to right. A reason underlying why this curve is uh, uh, slopes downwards from left to right. The reason underlying this property is that if the consumer has to stay at the same level of satisfaction, the quantity of one commodity must decrease and the quantity of commodity of another commodity must decrease. One commodity decrease and the commodity decrease. So that the inference curve slows from left to right. How we can explain it is once again the OX is for generalized measures of banana and OI generalized measures the mango. This is the curve slopes downwards from left to right is IC. IC means independence curves which slopes downwards, which slopes downwards from left to right. It indicates, it indicates one commodity decreases, another commodity increases. So the independence curve has a negative slopes. In this diagram, let us study the IC, it is the independence curve, IC curve. At the point A, this combination, in this combination, X1 and OI3, the consumer is at point A, Y3 and X1. Y3 and X1 is at point A, the consumer is at point A on the inference curve where the two commodities mango and banana give the same level of satisfaction or equal level of satisfaction at the point of A. At point A, at point A, the Y3, OY3 and OX is equal to each other at point A. A combination give the same level of satisfaction to the consumer. And one commodity must decrease. So Y3, Y2, it is decrease. And one commodity must decrease. That's one to X3. It is decrease, it is decrease. So at point B, the consumer gets same level of satisfaction. Y2, mango, X2, whatever. Gives the same level of satisfaction. Both A, mango and Banana gives the same level of satisfaction at the B. The consumer is on the curve of the inference curve. It is the case, same level of satisfaction. And then, mango must decrease y2, y1, o y1, x3 gives at point C, where the C combinations give the same level of satisfaction. To the consumer, Y1 and X2 do the same level of satisfaction. Yeah. The consumer is on the inference curve at point C. At point C, the inference curve, inference curve, the consumer is on the C combination. The C combination proves Mago and Corona do the same level of satisfaction. This is what I say. The inference curve goes downwards from left to right. It is a negative slopes. In other words, R, the reason is the underlying that one commodity must decrease, another commodity must increase. So the difference curve is negative slopes or slopes to the downwards from left to the right. It is the first feature of the indifference curve. The second indifference curve is the higher indifference curve gives greater level of satisfaction. The higher indifference curve, the higher indifference curve gives greater level of utility. These are the higher level of indifference curve. The higher indifference curve gives the higher indifference curve or higher utility satisfaction. 
there are three combinations. Points must be understood. Higher equipment terms use greater level of equity. We can understand by the help of this combinations of chart. There are three combinations A, B, C. These are the three combinations available to the consumers. And uh, this column shows quantity of banana. The quantity of banana is 1, 2, 3. And quantity of mango, this is as the same as mango. This shows the first combination shows at combination A, there is one banana and then ten mangoes. They give the same level of satisfaction. And at B, there are two banana and ten mangoes are there. And combination C, there are three banana and ten mangoes. The mangoes are same in the three combinations, but in banana are they different combinations. So, A and B use more satisfaction to consumer. A and B, A and B combinations give more satisfaction to the consumers. And the C combinations, C combinations give more satisfaction or more utility than B. More utility than A, B because of information of banana has a tree and the mangoes are that is greater than combination B and the B combination A gives more satisfaction than A because of in combination B there are two banana and ten mangoes are there it gives more satisfaction than the A so the consumer has these three combinations and we have to understand with the help of indifference curves. We have to understand with the help of these two indifference curves. The x axis measures the banana and one vertical line measures the mango. <coughs> the axis 1 and axis 2 and axis 3 or the two different spells. These are the three different spells. Gives more and more satisfaction with the consumer. The same, the mangoes are the same in quantity that is 10. And the one mango, one mango, one banana, and the 10 mango at point A. It gives the same level of satisfaction. And the two banana, ten mango, gives the same level of satisfaction. And the three mango, uh, three banana, ten mango, gives the same level of satisfaction. But the indifference curve shows higher level of satisfaction. The IC1 has, you IC1 use, it is the indifference curve IC1, it gives more satisfaction to the consumer. IC2 is the more than IC1. IC1 indifference curve gives more satisfaction than the IC1. And the IC2, or IC3, indifference curve gives more utility or more satisfaction. I say two. At point I see three, there are more banana and there are more mangoes are there. It gives more satisfaction to consumers. So the indifference of I see one, I see two, I see three, these are the higher indifference. I see one gives more satisfaction and I see two gives more than the I see one and I see three are uh, indifference curves. It gives more than the I see two. So the indifference curve gives a higher and higher satisfaction or higher and higher more liquidity to the consumers. These are the indifference curves. A combination, B combination, C combinations, and C combinations, this is the higher indifference curve.
sir, he was more satisfaction than the B kind A. This is the higher level one, sir, he is greater than, he cannot develop, he cannot satisfaction. In the third properties of indifference curve, or the third features of indifference curves is, the two indifference curves never intersect each other. This can be shown with the help of my diagram. The two indifference curves, the there are two indifference curves, IC1 and IC2, these are the two indifference curves which never intersect each other. If it intersect each other, it's resulting conflict. If they give the results conflict, if they give the result conflict, it's never to intersect at each other, at each other. So you can understand by the diagram, the way some level lines versus Bavada and the OI level lines versus the value. The IC1 is the Difference curve 2, I see 1 is the indifference curve 1. If this never intersect, if and these two indifference curve intersect, it gives a complete result. In this diagram, at point A, A and B, A and B use same, A and B lies on the same indifference curve. A and B lies on the same indifference curve. They use the same level of satisfaction. They use same level of satisfaction. This is what I mean. I see one indifference curve one. And the A and the C, A and the C are the same lies on the same indifference curve two. A and C lies on the same indifference curve as C2. These A and C use the same level of satisfaction. Use two combinations in the same level of satisfaction. And uh, its reverse is complete. It never, the feature of properties, the two indifference curves never intersect each other. B and C. Thus, P indicates the higher level of satisfaction than I see to because of the consumer has more mango and more banana. Therefore, the AP and I see one shows more satisfaction than the I see two. Or I see two, I see one indifference curve gives more satisfaction than the I see two. So, in this case, the indifference curves never intersect each other. These are the three important features of indifference curves. We have to study well, we have to understand well and uh, write in examinations. Uh, still, we have to remember and study well and in this the features of indifference curve, the questions will be asked in the examinations. We have to keep remember and write in the examinations well. I hope all the best of you. Thank you.